So before I headed to Thailand, I had to check out Nang Trang. I really wanted to some fresh air and it was only a couple of weeks until Thailand's air started to be clean after the burning season. So I ended up going online and purchasing my ticket and y'all, they played with me, man. So this was my ticket information. Um, the website basically teaches me how to read the map, etc. And then I go down here for check your tickets. So I didn't actually have to go on the website. The information is all here. And the pickup location, which is perfect. The drop off. Yo, if this is on the outskirts, I'm pissed. Let me have a look. <gasps> This is on the outskirts! Uh. So I end up leaving Da Nang, and I'm not gonna lie, it was mixed feelings. I really like Da Nang a lot, even though the air quality is so bad. I didn't want to leave, but I was so excited to go somewhere new, beach, and hopefully some clean air. So I'm not going to the bus station, and if you guys ever go to the bus station from Da Nang to Nang Trang, I recommend going probably 30 minutes earlier. Not, though I came like two hours early, man. It was really horrible, so I had to stay there for a bit and wait for the bus. But when you have your ticket, you can't just walk up to the bus. You actually have to go to a place where they all sell their tickets within the bus station facility area. So I'm super early here. And it was quite straightforward. I thought it was going to be hard, but it was actually really easy. So it's pretty cool. you got a lot of places where you can eat food. What I didn't like about the bus station is that people just smoke and don't give two Fs. And it's usually the men. I have not seen women smoke in Vietnam. Only one in a gaming room. It's annoying. I hate people that smoke. It's disgusting. It smells horrible. It just irritates my whole soul and my body. And this guy's cigarette was somehow seeping into the area where people were sitting and I could just smell it even with my damn LG mask. Anyway, night comes and I've noticed all these buses have these little sticks. So I'm not really sure if it's like a spiritual thing or why they do it, but let me know in the comment section below. And when you walk onto the bus, they give you like these plastic bags because they don't want you to walk on just like Vietnam households. They don't want you to walk in with your shoes on. It's kind of considered unclean, dirty, and it, I agree with it. I don't walk in with my shoes in my house anymore because it's like, you think about it, you walk it on the street and you bring it back home. So I'm too tall for this place. You know damn well in Vietnam there's no such thing as a sleeping bus because everyone beeps their damn vehicles. Even at night, I could hear the bus beeping. I'm like, bro, people are still on the road at this time. Noisy, so if you do go, definitely get ear blockers. You'll be able to have an um, ear blockers, sound blockers. You'll be able to have an amazing sleep if you have those. This man right here hustled me for his damn taxi. So I'm like, man, it's a, it's not too much. It's like 220. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. Is this one? Okay, I go bathroom. Okay, my Airbnb host had a room where I can drop my stuff off. But guys, wow, look. It's amazing, but that pollution 
is that's for really real. sad i was hoping yeah. that i could breathe in fresh air not dirty air it really looks like the burning season affects this area too okay so it's so weird because all the air monitor websites are saying that nang trang is basically clean and i'm here and i'm like this ain't clean this is moderate you can tell by the color of the reflection because what happens when you have that many pms in the uh, the air when the sun shines through it gives that yellow look because the sun is out it shouldn't look like it's a sunset you understand let's look now let's look now i need to put this on because my chest is congested from da Nang. i need to protect it from here too okay perfect because i know the locals when they see this video and some of the expats that live here they want to make excuses to why their city is so amazing i get it you love it but during the burning season it doesn't look like it's that good okay see how that's green most likely that's because it's inside a building this one is telling you what's up and what it really is 101 don't get hit <laughs> oh the water the sun is bright okay so right now <clears throat> I'm hoping to get some fruit, some watermelon. Oh, I can see some already. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You sell fruit? Only juice. Food? Yeah, food right here. Uh, but can I like eat? No juice. Yes. I can? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what do you want? Uh, uh watermelon and mango. Thank you. There's some juicy mango. She's gonna cut the watermelon for me. Let's give it a try. So good. Okay, so this is what I saw when I was coming in. A lot of buildings like this. Look how modern it looks. These just changes the whole atmosphere and the look of the whole place, which is really interesting. Some Russian girls there. There's a lot of Russians that moved here. But yeah, oh, even look at this shop. I like their style. Okay. Okay, okay. Some fake bags there. Ooh, let's go in the grocery store. Is this a... Wow. So all the Vietnamese and Chinese snacks and food. They got some American Pringles. <laughs> I've never had these. They're like rice alcohol or rice milk. I think that's rice alcohol. Yeah, that's rice alcohol. There's a lot of them here. Yeah. Oh, you got red ones too. Blue. I like the black ones. How much? 300 100 How much? 100 300 dong Oh, that's expensive These are 100 How come these are 300 What about 200 <laughs> How much? 270 what about 250 okay here of this
40, 50. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, those cigarettes smell so f bad. Like, why does everyone smoke here? Bro, every corner, someone has a f cigarette. <laughs> like, what the f are they putting their cigarettes here? It isn't it funny how they ban weed, but they won't ban cigarettes. I would say it costs a little bit more to get things here. I got this, all those, the water, one mango steam, lemonade, lemonade for around 190 dong. So that's around $11 Australian. And I'm pretty sure I've spent less in Da Nang. So I do feel over here costs a little bit more at some places. Because some of the good restaurants are actually cheaper than it would be in Da Nang. So I just found a restaurant that was hidden in the valleys. I am so tired, y'all. I cannot check in yet. So I'm just want to lay low in one place. But yeah, check it out. It's a cute little place. On the second floor I think there is a third floor but I don't know if there's any coverage so I'm just tired and trying not to go to the side okay so I got this thing that is meant to be spicy but it really isn't spicy and spring rolls let me try the spring rolls and then I'll tell you guys how much they are okay we'll just use my hand Mmm, okay. That makes it taste like Vegemite. 45. Forty-five. I think that's the right price actually. And this was fifty-five. Joy what? Australia something. Do I need something? Yeah. I'm just going to my hotel <laughs> Why? What can you provide me? Let me So it looks like the It looks like it's still Not that great But it looks better than Today Regarding the air quality That is So I think it's cleared up a bit Right now I'm going to my Airbnb Finally get to check in Okay, so this is what $35 can get you. Here is the kitchen. By the way, it is the next day, guys. Sorry. I slept in all afternoon and night. Here is the bathroom. Check it out. Check okay, so I had to film with my phone. Here is the dining room. Check out the view, y'all. The view. Wow. It's beautiful, right? So that's the view. Let's go over here. The bedroom. Okay, look, I slept here last night. It didn't come like this. I just, I was in a rush because I had to leave soon. So <laughs> that's my attempt, making it good. The storage area. Um, that's the, the makeup area. And check this out. The million dollar view. Look how beautiful that is. I'm in my briefs, y'all. Don't judge me. I didn't think I would show up with the reflection. But look how beautiful it is. Look at the island over there. That's like a tourist place. I think a lot of people go across this thing to get there. But the water here, the water is better than Da Nang. I have to say that. The water is stunning here. Look how beautiful it is. I can't wait to swim in it. But anyway, I have to go uh, check into my other hotel. Okay, so this is the room. Here's the kitchen. Unfortunately, this place don't have no cooking rice, man. Cooking rice machine. No, rice cooker. That's what you call it. <laughs> cooking rice machine. What am I saying? It don't got no blender. Like, come on. Okay. Where's the cooking pots? Okay, good. They got some cooking stuff here. I can I can do something with that. But yeah, okay. My workspace, TV, uh, bedroom. 
Um, linen towels. Big bottle of water. That's nice of them. And a nice view. Also over here, I have a private beach where I can sit and I don't have to, on the like the seats with umbrellas and I don't have to pay for it. Isn't that cool? So that comes with this place. So that's a pretty decent deal. This is around whatever's on the screen because I forgot. I think it's in its 20s a night. Oh, and my own good Wi-Fi because you know hotels have bad Wi-Fi. So they install their own. So that's another good thing. What's up? There seems to be a lot of bims here, which is really good. So I don't see that a lot. Of <laughs> Craving a smoothie this morning. See that place is called B Smoothies. Oh my God, I hope it's got a hit. Wow, look at this alley. This place looks fancy. Nice place to chill out. Let's check out this water dog. Oh na na, what's your name? Okay, so as you can see, there's like little pits of pieces of rubbish. It's not too bad, but I do notice it a lot here in that train. Sometimes, like in the water, I'd be seen little things floating around plastic i'm like damn okay guys so these are the bathrooms here and i just wanted to show you they're very clean they keep everything clean here this is not like the west in the west the toilets are dirty so i don't know about some other countries but i know in australia america uh maybe thailand the bathroom or seychelles the bathrooms be so especially seychelles it's so filthy but here is so good because all you have to pay is 10 dong and they basically keep the place clean and you just pay them a little fee so it's really good it's it makes sense and i think a lot of countries should adopt this beaches is like bathrooms and you have to pay it's not too much it's like 10 dong anything above that they're probably scamming you but um i literally went to a bathroom just to wash my feet and i find out that there's these little taps around here like this one right here where you can just go and wet your feet so you don't have to pay pay dong to use the toilet oh there's another one right here thank god but then when i went to my next airbnb the next day the other one um yeah i was there for like maybe three days because it had mold midjool i don't know the name of it it's when you start to have mold building up and the lady really did everything in her care to take care of me and try to get rid of it. They came in, they took the curtains because I'm like, probably in the curtains. But it was the sofa. The sofa was the problem and you could tell that it was inside the sofa. And you can tell behind the cushions it was like discolored. But the lady was telling me that's because of the sun and I was like, no, ma'am, it's not because of the sun. It's because you're starting to get mold build up. And I did not feel comfortable sleeping in there. And it's just, it's like, it was such a shame, but um, I got a refund and actually I need to double check on that refund. Guys, it's my favorite. It's a durian shop and a herb tea. Hey man. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Very big. Is jury? No, it's cake. Okay. Bye. Mm, I have one. What? This. Ah. What's your name? Uh, Juan. Juan. Yeah. Martin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this tea. green tea, green tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try it. It tastes like a soft drink, like those green soft drinks. <laughs> Big too. 
Okay. This one's good. Oh, it's so beautiful. The other day it wasn't that nice. There was like rubbish floating around. Wow. Okay, let me take my shirt off because I'm going to get fixed my tan. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not film a lot in Nang Trang, but I will say this. I really did enjoy it. I feel like it's the Phuket, but the Vietnam version of Phuket. The cost there is a little bit higher. I've also checked out properties there, and I did realize that the properties um, did, did does a cost a lot more compared to Da Nang. 